All right, Shopify uses templates in different forms and fashions. Essentially, a template is a set of code that is applied to a specific page type. So if you have a page, that page is going to have a template. If you have a blog, that blog is going to have a, have a template. You install your theme. Your theme is your high level um, code. Then you install templates for your pages. And then each individual page has sections and blocks. We're going to go over the difference on those in the next section. But for now, I want to show you where we go and set up templates inside of Shopify so that when we refer back to them later, you know what I'm talking about. So let's go to my screen. All right, so when we're on the theme customizer, and if you go to that middle menu that I talked about in the last uh, overview, you can see you have a bunch of page types here. So you have your product page, you have your uh, regular page, you have your collection list. I'm gonna use a regular page just to keep things simple. But if we go into pages, we can go and create a template. Now the big difference between templates in Online Store 2.0 and Online Store Original is that you used to have to have that template inside the theme. It was required to be inside the theme in order for you to use it. Now in Online Store 2.0, you can create a theme and it's available on both or you can create a template and it's available on both your themes so that you don't have to go through this big hoops of duplicating code. You just have to create it once. So I'm gonna go and create a, a, a page template and this is gonna be sample page. Let's just put this in here, sample page. I can choose whether I want to base it, on, base it on an existing template that's already there and then just make my changes to that. So say for example, I'm, can, I'm creating a bunch of different brand type um, product pages and I just want to modify a couple of pieces for it, I can make one additional page and then copy it along. I'm going to just go based on the default page and then I'm going to go and create it. Now, once you've created this page, um, you're going to need to go and assign it. Now, the place that you go and assign this template is actually back in the theme editor so or in the Shopify editor. So if you exit out of the um, the theme customizer, you go to the 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 place where you created the item. So if we want pages, it's going to be under online store. And if we go to a page, so let's go and create a sample page here. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner, this is where your page templates are. So I can go and click my sample page. And now my sample page and my template pages are assigned. Okay. And if we go back over to the theme customizer, and we go into the Dawn theme, and we go back to the page that we were on, pages, we can see now sample page has one theme template applied to it. Now, why would you wanna do this? The reason that you wanna set all of these things up is often there are small little differences that you wanna put on a content page. So let's take for example, pages are easiest thing to understand. So you have a contact page, which might have a map. It might have a stock list on it. It may have different, it might have a contact form on it versus a content page where you're just talking about your business and your content page might have a collage of images on it. Now those are both page templates and in the previous Shopify system, you needed to do if statements and all sorts of fancy coding in order to use one template around on multiple pages. Now in Shopify 2.0, you have individual templates. And that's kind of how the whole thing is set up. All right, so that is it for creating templates. Next, we're gonna move on to an explanation about the differences between templates, sections, blocks, themes, all that sort of stuff so that you are in the know.